guys in today's video I'd like to share with you the unboxing unbagging unwrapping whatever you want to call it of my newest purchase which is a recollections binder from Michaels I did use the 40% off coupon on this so I got it for a very good price and we're going to open it up and see what it looks like in person and if it's as cute in person as it is on the website I did with the go with the gold and white striped. Um, I'm really not sure why because I'm really usually not big on gold, but something about this one spoke to me. This is the personal size, and um, let's see what we got. It says it has one three ring binder. I mean planner, three tab dividers, thirty six planning sheets. So let's see what we got. Forty pieces in all. Well, they didn't too, do too good a job again. Oh, it's stiff, too. I'm going to have to work that out. It is very stiff. So, it like they said, it is a six-ring binder. They did not too good. Did not do too good about putting that stuff in there. Let's cut that loose so we can get that straightened out. Because that irritates me to death when... They don't take the time to check stuff before they do it. So, there we go. Cool. That's done. Take this out. It is very, very stiff. So, it will take some time working into it, but I'm going to be using this. My plan in buying this, other than having another planner, because I'm really getting on this whole planner bandwagon. Now my happy planner is my decoration planner. I have it here. I don't know if you can see it a little bit. But I keep it here in front of me. I do not use any ink in it. I do not ink it. It is just for pretty. Um, it took me forever to switch off my Doctor Strange spread. Um, if you saw my video on that, that, well, that was the best one I've done so far in my happy planner. And I was so tickled with it. But when I did this last one, which is for the week of the 14th or the 20th. I was really tickled with it too. So it wasn't as hard to switch to it. The one in between, eh, not so much. But it, this new planner, getting back to the recollections planner. I'm so sorry, I get off track. It has a holder here. It has, looks like some card holders. I would never put my credit cards in here. But, you know, I might put my, um, if I ever get a Hobby Lobby gift card or a Michael's gift card or something like that, they might go in there just to keep them close by little thing here it'd be great to put my business cards in here for whenever I'm out and about when I do make it back home and so this snap seems pretty durable I'm hoping it is that's what I tend to be the roughest on so we will see <laughs> now as far as the what's included in it you've got your three dividers make great things happen in gold following with the gold and white theme of the planner the binder itself uh, gold striped these are all see-through of course and believe the very best I like that believe the very best I like that a lot then you can get a some to-do sheets which I could use those up in no time no time at all always jotting down things I need to do I am the post-it queen now I used to never use a post-it before in my life here in the last probably six months I become the post-it queen I post-its all over the house, all over the work table here for the job that I work on the phone, uh, to the website. I post, post, post. I drive myself crazy with them. And I, it's just, un, it's unbelievable how much I've taken to them. So, you get the to-do list in this one, which be, I could put post-it notes on that as well. You get some grid paper, graph paper, and some lined paper. And that is what comes with it when you buy it. This, I am assuming, is for like a um, one of those tall notebook pads. I'm assuming. I could be wrong. Another holder here, another pocket here, and then somewhere to put a pen, a pen holder, which I really like that. That's nice because I'm the worst, world's worst person at keeping up with pens. So it's nice to have a holder for my pen, to have it handy, and right here whenever I need to jot something down. 
I can see me, uh, I may use these as dashboards to attach my post-it notes to. That would work great for that, like this one here, because it is just a plain gold stripe. That way, of course, I will have my post-it notes close at hand. Now, after opening this and looking at it, I am tickled with the way it's made. It looks just like it did on the website. I'm just not liking this stiffness. Uh, that's going to irritate me until it works out. I'm sure it'll work out in no time, as I'm going to use it on a daily basis. I will probably leave it laying open as I do my, I have my happy planner propped up on a plate holder rack. But I will probably use this open to the side here. Uh, so that I'm, I'm going to use it for my social media, for any appointments for the girls, checkups, any trips back home, and then when I do go home, what I want to look at, and I will be decorating in it as well, as I will be doing plan plan with me's with it. So it will still be decorating. It will. I I intend it to be very functional, not so much just decorative as my happy planner, but this will be a more functional planner for me. I just can't bring myself to write in my happy planner. I know people do, but I just can't do it. And I wanted something like this that was more enclosed that I could throw into my purse when I do go back home or such or go to town. The happy planner with the binder ring, the way the rings are run, I didn't see that happening. Now, I did do a flip through of my new mini happy planner that I'm thinking is going to be more like my journal again that will be a plan with me series I will still decorate it and design stuff to decorate with it but I think that's going to be more of a personal journal I like I stated in that video I journaled for years I've kind of gotten out of it I do miss it I'm um, I write down thoughts I write down things that happen and then when I look back on them I have several journals from when my mother was sick, and I look back on it, and I can, it really brings back the memory of what all she went through. So, journals are a good thing, in my opinion, and everyone should keep one, but not, it's not for everyone, I realize that. But for me, it is something that is very much missed, and I'm going to get back into it. My new, hap, my mini happy planner doesn't start till the first of the year, so I may just jot some things down here and there in a loose leaf binder until then and then start on my new happy planner, mini happy planner the first of the year. But that's the recollections. Again, I got off track. <laughs> that's the recollections binder that I purchased through Michaels. Like I said, I got it for 40% off. It, it is very nice. It's a nice size. It will fit into my purse nicely. And I look forward to using it. I really do. And breaking it in and getting all that stiffness out of that spine. So I, it was a choice between this and a faux dory. And I, the Traveler's Notebook held certain it's heard, held a certain appeal to me. But I thought I'd try this one. If I don't like it, you know, I don't have to stay with this. I may end up having both. A faux dory would be nice for a bullet journal. It would be nice to do just like a day-to-day -day checklist kind of thing. So I may do that still yet. But I'm thinking I want to try and design my own faux dory rather than buy it but then again you know the best laid plans so that's my new recollections journal look for that in the recollections planner excuse me <laughs> look for that in a future plan with me series i will have a playlist for those i've started setting up playlists for my different series so it's easier to go through my um, youtube channel um, i hope you enjoyed this flip through of my recollections as i work with it i will share it with you um, as always, if you like this video, please thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, from me and the girls here at Hattie's Attic, have a blessed day and a very happy life, guys. And we mean it. We appreciate you. Bye now.